<laughs> okay, hi everybody. Um, it's Dakota because it's Wednesday, and this is Kevin, your Saturday, well, your former Saturday guy. Um, and we are at uh, my girlfriend's place of business um, for some reason. And that is why I'm wearing a shirt because you have to wear a shirt here. Um, or so they say. So society says. Um, this week we're talking about the workplace. Um, which is kind of fitting, I guess, that we're here then. Workplace. Yeah, we're in a workplace. So, um, so I want to start off by saying I don't know where you're from, but in my experience, we live in New Jersey and we have trans protection laws here. Um, but we did meet a guy at a party who was from Florida, and um, he got fired from his job for coming out. So I'm gonna be um, pretty straightforward and tell you, I'm not saying that you should come out of the closet at work. I'm not saying that you should. That's like your experience. Um, you have to uh, figure out what's right for you. Right? Yeah, you gotta feel out the workplace and see if like um, it's gonna be well received and if you really can't work in that environment then, and, and you can't be out there and you can't work that way. And quit. Right. And make sure you talk really loud because they won't be able to hear you. Oh, my okay. bad. <laughs> okay. So, um, I when I first started transitioning, I was working at um, a place called Panera Bread, and um, I wouldn't come out. And then uh, tasty, but not friendly. No, they were they were totally friendly, but I was really scared because it was like me coming out of the closet. So, um. I came out eventually and everyone was really cool, but obviously it took a minute, it took a little bit. Um, that's gonna, she's gonna keep distracting me. <laughs> you talk first. Uh, hold up. My, my experience? Yeah, go ahead, because I'm getting fucking distracted. Oh, uh, he's getting distracted by his hot girlfriend. Um, it's okay. I don't blame you. Um, I've had, um, I've only had two jobs. Uh, the first one, I uh, I wasn't out at um, although one of my coworkers knew I found and was actually really cool about it um, and sort of understood the deal but you know I wasn't out I wasn't even at first I wasn't even out as gay and then I was like okay. um, uh, now it's the job I'm working now I um, I applied using my birth name and I was like I'll just wait a couple weeks you know. And then when I showed up for my first shift, I was like, I can't do this. I have to go straight to him. And my boss, my manager, was super cool about it, changed everything right away. So I got lucky, but you know, uh, they also have uh, the place that I work in their um, in their like mission statement. They they cannot discriminate on the basis of gender identity like anywhere else in New Jersey. A lot of places say that. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We can't discriminate. But, yeah. That's but why they, you get fired for not wearing the right shoe. Yeah, or some shit like <laughs> that. Um, but they actually were cool about it. And, you know, everybody refers to me correctly now. Um, even people who were originally introduced to me the wrong way. They did well. Maybe that was lucky. Yeah, I mean, I kind of did the same thing. Um, I waited it out. I tried to at my two new jobs at, at Panera, it took me a while, everyone was really cool, um, but I got two new jobs in the past year, um, and I applied, and one job is at the aquarium, and I tried to go by my real name, and then I, after the first day, I was like, no, this isn't going to work out, so um, I told them, you know, call me Dakota, and they like changed my name tag there and everything, and they were totally cool about it. And they're still really cool about it. They're kind of trying to get used to the pronoun thing because um, I wasn't correcting them, and that's my fault. That's not anything to do with them. Um, so there was that. And then at Spencer's, which is my second job, um, I told them at the interview, um, you know, I'm transitioning, and I want you to call me Dakota and use male pronouns and my manager there was like awesome and she was like totally I want everyone to know you as the correct thing um the only thing there is my name tag has to say something 
like that relates to my birth name, which sucks. I hate it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You would think, right? That's Spencer. Some, that's some bullshit right there, yo. Yeah, but I'm not saying anything bad about Spencer's. So please, if anybody corporate at Spencer's is watching this for some reason. Oh, no, no, no. Spencer's is cool and all. Yeah, we like it there. We're I, friends. I buy stuff from there occasionally. So. Yeah, I like my job and I don't blame them for anything. Um, that's, but I would say for anybody who's thinking about coming out at work or um, wants to know how to, there's not really a how to. <laughs> there's not. You have to be careful. You have to feel it out. Make sure you're in a safe environment, first of all, because um, people are crazy. You don't know what they're going to do, ever. I'm being dead ass serious. Yeah, no, I'm like, laughing, you, but that's I know, serious. like, I know. I get, I laugh when I'm like, you know. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> this is real serious. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Um, but you want to make sure you're in a safe environment. You want to make sure, um, you know, people are accepting of you if you're telling them that you're gay or whatever. Um, though being gay and being trans is completely different. Um, at least you get a feel for how they view things in the world. Um, and you'll know, like, if you're doing the right thing for yourself. Um, don't, I, w I wouldn't say, you know, listen to anybody who's like, yeah, fuck them, you know, just come out of the closet. Um, that could be dangerous, that like, could be bad for you. And you know your situation better than anybody else, you know what's going on, and you can read and intuit what's going to happen. Better than anybody who, anybody, let's be real. So. Right. So, let's break this down. One, make sure you're in a safe environment. Two, if you feel like you're in a safe environment, maybe tell one person, you know, at a time. Um, that's what I did. I came out slow when I was coming out for the first time at Panera. Um, what is, is that what you did? Or did you just tell everyone? Oh, I told my manager, and it was before my first shift had started, and I'd only met the store manager and, like, one other person who was, like, I guess getting hired at the same time. Um, so I just asked my manager, and everything got changed around. So most of that, most of the people I work with, with the exception of, like, two or three people, always knew me as Kevin. They know me as Kevin. Right. That's how it was with Spencer's for me. I met the manager, and the manager told everyone, like, hey, this is Dakota. Yeah. The that was the thing. My manager went around and was like, this is Kevin. Yeah. Um, and she actually went to some people who were introduced to me as my birth name. I was like, this is Kevin. I remember one person, like, was like, what? Like, I could see the look in his eyes, but he was like, he was rolling with it, which I respect. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Come here. This is, oh wait, I'm gonna get out of the way. <laughs> this is my pretty girlfriend, um, Kelly, and she's pretty. Yep, I'm gonna go now. Yeah. I have work to do. She has work to do. I felt kind of weird being in between the two of them. <laughs> so, like, don't have sex through me now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I guess that's pretty much all we have, right? I can't really think much. And I'm about to tear into the sandwich, so. Yeah, I mean, just be careful. Yeah. You know you better than anyone else does, so just be careful. And with that, I'm going to peace out and take off my shirt. Okay, I'm not going to take off my shirt, but I really want to. Okay, okay. It's been real. See you next week.